moving on here for Astor Auctioneer's Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction Event with item number 131, a 1955 DeSoto Fire Dome four-door sedan. Before we open the hood, we have to marvel at the condition of this grill. Look at how nice those teeth are, the bumper, the over the uh, grill emblem work here, DeSoto logo still there, the V8 insignia, all of it nice and fresh and clean. Uh, the front does have surface rust, but it's no structural issue. Got to love that hood ornament. What a beautiful thing that is. Okay, without further ado, let's pop the hood and see what's going on. And there it is. This is the 291 cubic inch Fire Dome Hemi V8. And over on this side, we can actually see those beautiful Hemi spark plug wires sticking down inside. Here's the remains of them, but right there. This is what makes a Hemi a Hemi. The spark plugs located in the center of the combustion chamber between the two valves, cross flow breathing, very efficient. Two barrel carburetor on this one. There was a single four barrel also available, but speaking of available, this does have factory air conditioning. Look at this big V twin pump compressor right here, belt driven. This also has the heater. Um, and manual drum brakes. I don't see a booster up on the uh, firewall. That's okay. Power steering driven off the back of the generator. We can see the uh, pump and the reservoir right there. Uh, moving along to the front fenders. Let's see how they stack up. Uh, the looks like rust, but this is actually what we call a Texas suntan. Beautiful virgin metal. No rust, no dents down low here. Man, is that nice. Uh, there is a small amount of corrosion happening at the bottom of the fender, right down here, those holes. But again, you know, what do you expect? This thing's over 60 years old. Not a problem. This stuff's available in patch. You will love the Fire Dome V8 emblem. And of course, Dome is a reference to the hemispherical combustion chambers. Wraparound windshield, new for 1955. And again, Virgil Exner's forward look just beginning to take form here. Can't get that door open, but inside I see a large single brake pedal. So this is an automatic equipped car. Uh, the shifter being a little stick poking out of the dashboard. Push buttons would come along in 1956, the next year. The back door does not want to open but fear not, that will be dealt with before the car is, uh, is sold. Uh, the back door is nice, down low. I don't see any signs of rust. A little tiny pinhole right there, but not a big deal. The rocker seems pretty good, but again, uh, the lips on the rear wheel opening, pretty good right here. Down low, there is a little bit of corrosion happening, but again, the magnet sticks to it. That's a good sign. It hasn't been doctored. Nobody's tried to fix that. That's honest uh, first-generation rust, as it were. Got to love the V8 logo on the back. And again, 1950s V8 was the ultimate status symbol on the open road. The deck lid's very nice. The paint, again, is gone, but that's okay. Texas suntan happening here. Nice. Inside the trunk, what have we got? Okay, lots of uh, relics and goodies. Uh, the trunk floor looks pretty decent. The original bumper jack is still here. The yellow paint in effect underneath this. Uh, yeah, it's good to see. That's solid metal right there. The magnet sticks. Good stuff. Okay, wrapping around to the uh, passenger side. Again, we see the V8 logo down low. Again, a little bit of rocker panel rust. You know, not horrible. But again, the magnet sticks, so that's not been doctored. That's pure, uh, ready to be dealt with with either a patch panel or some welding, you call it. The original wheel covers with the DeSoto logo in the center. All four are present and accounted for. Tough to find if you need them. Good to see them here. Doors are really nice down low. No problems with rust. Rocker panels are pretty good. I don't feel any holes. The magnet sticks. That's good. No bondo. Front door, passenger side. Can we open the door and look inside? Nope, doesn't want to go. That's okay. We peek inside. The headliner has dropped down, but again, there's an after uh, the uh, the frigid air air conditioner underneath the uh, instrument cluster. The door is fine. No rust happening here, and the front fender on the passenger side also down low. A little tiny hole right there, but uh, as these things go, it's in fantastic condition. So that's the story of item number 131. A 1955 DeSoto Fire Dome four-door sedan. Um, you know, you could either part it out or restore it. Best thing of all, of course, is that Hemi V8 under the hood. What's it worth? Well, that's up to you to decide.